Welcome to Camillo, an open source learning management system or LMS for short. If you're a teacher, trainer, school administrator, or even someone looking to start online courses, this platform might be exactly what you need. So make sure to stick around until the end as we break down what Camillo is, how to use it, and who it's really for. So first, what is Camillo? Well, I have here this guide which will help us understand what it actually is. Camillo LMS is a learning management system designed to support effective online education, often referred to as e-learning. It is a free software which has been developed through the collaboration of various companies, organizations, and individuals according to a model known as open source, but with stricter ethical values. So what Camillo is, is it's a platform specifically designed to support effective online education, what we refer to as e-learning. Whether you're teaching a group of high school students, managing corporate training programs, or offering your own online classes, Camillo gives you the tools you need to manage learning in a digital space. Now, what's really cool about Camillo is that it's free. That's right, a free software. It's developed by a community of individuals companies, and organizations working together through an open source model. But here's where Camillo is a little different from other open source tools. It's built around strong ethical values. That means the developers behind Camillo care not just about making the platform work, but making it accessible, transparent, and focused on education for all. It's not built to be monetized through ads or subscriptions. It's there to give educators a better alternative to some of the other, bigger, more corporate platforms out there. Camillo has been used in universities, public institutions, private businesses, and even NGOs. Basically anywhere people need to organize learning and knowledge sharing in an efficient way. Let's start by registering on the platform. How do we do that? As for any web platform, users wishing to access the platform contents must register with their username and password. This is simply done by following the sign up link on the homepage or by an administrator pre-registering all users. Once registered, one can simply connect using your username and password and you will be entered into your account. So let's say you want to start using Camillo. The first step, as with most platforms, is registering. You can register by going to the homepage and clicking the sign up button. All you need is a username and a password and you're good to go. Sometimes, if you're part of an organization that's already using Camillo, an admin may pre-register your account for you. So they'll give you your own username or your password, and you can use it as your own. Once you log in, teachers will see a list of courses they're already subscribed to. If you're a teacher, you'll also see a little pencil icon next to your courses that lets you access your course settings right away. From there, you can connect with other users through the social network tool. Subscribe to more courses via the course catalog or check out the history of your sessions using the courses history feature. Pretty intuitive stuff. And it's designed to be user-friendly from the moment you log in. Now let's talk about creating courses, which is right here. So your website should look a little something like this. If you go on ahead and view your profile, you'll see that your picture is over here. And then there are two boxes, your profile box and your courses box. Of course, you're going to want to tap on create a course and let's dive more into that. Creating our course is quick and easy and can be done from the My Courses page. And by the way, do take note that on some portals, teachers may not have permission to create new courses and are simply assigned pre-created courses by the administrator. Click on Create Course in the side column, fill the mandatory course name, and click the button. That's it. The course will be visible by the course creator and later by the user subscribed to it. By default, the person who creates the course is responsible for this course's administration. She is generally referred to as the course owner or the course creator. So that is how you can create a course. Once again, from the My Courses page, just tap on the Create Course in the side column and you'll be asked to create a course name. So for example, you're teaching a math class, just name the course Math or Grade 6 Math and you'll be good to go. Once you hit submit, your course is created. You, as the course creator, become the owner of this by default. You can later add content, invite students, and customize the settings based on your needs. So whether it's video lessons, written materials, quizzes, or discussions, you can build it all into a Camillo course. Now you might be wondering, what kind of courses can you create on Camillo? Well, 
The answer is almost anything. You can use it to teach languages, math, science, coding, business skills, or even soft skills like leadership or communication. It's flexible enough for academic use, but also works well for corporate training or community educational projects. Courses on Camillo aren't just for delivering content. They're interactive. You can track student progress, assign exercises, give tests, hold virtual lessons, and even award certificates. It's designed to be more than just a content dump. It's about engagement and measurable learning. But let's ask ourselves, who exactly is Camillo for? Camillo is for educators who want to control over their content without being locked into expensive licensing deals. It's for schools and universities that want to provide e-learning without high technical overhead. It's for organizations and NGOs that want to offer free or low-cost education to communities, especially in places where internet access is limited. It's also great for entrepreneurs, coaches, and trainers who want to build their own platform without hiring a developer or paying subscription fees every month. Basically, if you have knowledge to share and you want to do it online, Camillo gives you the tools to do that effectively, and Camillo is the way. So why is a platform like Camillo needed? In today's world, online education is becoming more essential than ever. People are learning it remotely, upskilling on the go, and seeking education from different parts of the globe. But not everyone can afford expensive tools or platforms. That's where Camillo steps in. It makes learning accessible. It gives people from individual educators to large institutions the power to teach without needing a big budget or a tech team. Plus, because it's open source, it grows and evolves with input from real users, not just what a company thinks you need. That makes it more adaptable, more ethical, and more community focused. So to wrap it all up, Camillo is a free, open source, and highly ethical learning management system that allows educators and organizations to create, manage, and share online courses with ease. It's flexible, accessible, and powerful enough to support learning at any scale, whether that's a small group of learners or a full university. If you're a teacher or trainer looking to move your classes online or you want to start your own online educational project, Camillo might be the perfect platform to help you get started without needing to invest in expensive software. So let's move back to our documents because basically this is the teacher guide for Camillo. It's the official guide for Camillo. So as you can see, there are a lot of things that we can learn from the side. So I really do recommend you to go to this website right here, to this PDF, and learn everything you can about Camillo before getting it. There is even an admin guide or some other guide. I'm sure there are three guides for the three different users, like here, admin guide and developer guide. So you can go on ahead and visit those as well. But yeah, as you can see, you have stuff like announcements, attendances, course progress. So for example, if a student is, let's say 50% into a course, they can see that over here. You have groups where you can assign students different things like clubs or extracurricular activities. You have surveys where you can ask your own students what they think about a certain thing. Backup, of course, if you lose your data, then you can back it up so you can get it whenever you need it. But yeah, that's really about it for this guide on Camillo. If you want a deeper dive, you can go on ahead and go to camillo.org where you can download it or try it now by simply tapping on this try now button or try it button and it's going to take you to a site like this. So simply tap on go to free campus and it's going to show you a campus which you can go on ahead and move and try for free to see if it suits your style or whatever you may like. Here you can learn about all the things that you can do with Camillo and all the things that we've read over here like the courses or the other questionnaire stuff. Basically anything that's essential to teachers, students, administrators, and more. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments down below if the tutorial worked or if you have any questions. Thank you and goodbye.